Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will discuss for in loop. In the previous video, we learned what is for loop and nested for loop. Before you moving on to the for in loop, I personally recommend that must watch for loop tutorial because for in loop is depend on for loop and it's very easy to understand for in loop in this lecture. To create for in loop, we have a syntax for and in the parenthesis, I will specify variable in object. Just after that, I will specify statement. As you can see, the syntax is very simple. We start for in loop with the for keyword and declare a variable using let keyword. Just after that, we specify in keyword with an object. So here, object is just an expression that evaluate to an object. Then we specify statement or statements block serve as a body of the loop. Using example, you will completely understand how for loop works. Except explaining the syntax, I will explain example in detail. For in loop only works on object data type. Keep that into your account, right? Suppose you have an object with some key and value pair. So here in this example, I will declare constant object obj is equal to in the curly braces, I will specify key and value pair. So I will specify a colon one comma will specify second property b colon two comma c colon three and then the last property d colon four and specify semicolon at the end just after that i will call my for in loop using for keyword and in the parenthesis i will say let o in object just after that i will specify compound statement using curly braces and just say console.log method to print object properties and say obj and in the square bracket i will say o right so when you execute this example you will get one two three and four on the console we had already learned what is object and how to declare it so in this example we declare object with some values and pairs to access object property you need to specify particular key to access that values. What if you don't know the key and you have multiple key and pair in the object property? Then what will you do? And again, what if you wanted to access all the properties in the object and display them on the console? I know you are not insane to display each object property using key, right? In that situation, you have a for in loop to rescue. Using for in loop, we iterate each object property one by one. Using for in loop, you can display each object property and its value on the console. So first, we declare a variable o and specify in keyword just after that. And then specify our object. So the for loop will first evaluate the object and start the loop execution. So the loop start from the first index and end with the last index value. In the O variable, for in loop will insert each key one by one, just like for loop I variable, which increase its value by one using incremental operator and execute the statement. So first, for in loop evaluate object and execute the statement with the first key. So first, we have a value in the O variable. After that, for loop execute its statement and print specified value of the key. After that, for in loop will move at the top and take the second key which is B. And then execute statement with the specified value of the key. So for in loop execute the same pattern again and again and print each property of the object on the console. Then the loop will terminate. For loop is not limited to print object properties on the console, but also you can print array element and also all the object data which is evaluate to an object. 
you are not just print the value of the properties but you can print the key also so just change the console.log and remove object from the console method and just specify o variable when you execute this code you will get all the keys in the object on the console we are using for in loop in array tutorial also so in the subsequent tutorials you will completely understand how to use for in loop in your program experiment with this tutorial and understand how for in loop works i hope you understand for in loop i ask a question in the comment answering that question will help you to increase your knowledge and performance that is all for this lecture we will see you in the next tutorial